You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where this afternoon I'm here in Margate for my first visit to Dreamland in three years. It was actually 2018 when I was last here at the park, and yes, since then there's been lots of changes, and it's actually been a really difficult few years for the park, mainly of course due to the pandemic. Last year, the park opened with a limited amount of rides, mostly temporary funfair rides that are coming to the park, and unfortunately the scenic railway was out of action. Then over winter, the park teased about the scenic reopening for 2022. And yes, it reopened just a couple of days ago, so I've made my way back down here to the park to see exactly what Dreamland Margate is currently like. Now, in that period of time, a lot of rides have unfortunately left the park and been sold. It reopened back in 2015, and for 2018, lots of new rides were put in, and the park really was thriving. Unfortunately, over the past few years, hence why we've not been, a lot of rides were taken out, the scenic's not been operational and it was really a dark time for the park so it's good to see that the scenic is now back open and in this vlog going to show you everything that's on offer here at Dreamland Margate as of May 2022. Dreamland Margate really is a park with so much history over the years various different operators have owned the park and yeah as you can see lots of rides have come and gone. But yeah, the park is back open for 2022 for the summer season. And yeah, it's now a free to enter site. You may remember back in 2018, when I was last down here in Margate, that the site, uh, you did actually need to pay to go in. And yeah, it didn't really seem to be working out for them. So I think it's probably better having it as a free to enter and pay per ride park. And here's a look at the 2022 map. Now, like I say, there's quite a few attractions here uh, that are operating, but some of them aren't, including the Dreamline Drop just there and also the Big Wheel. However, I do believe the Big Wheel is going to be operating again soon. You got the classic Scenic Railway, the oldest roller coaster in the UK that opened back in 1920. Had a lot of work done to it, um, but you know what? Uh, I can't wait to get back on there. It is operational today. Along with that, there's quite a few different traveling rides. Carter's Steam Fair have actually got some of their rides here again this year. Uh, they did last year, however, we didn't come down because I've got to be honest, my main draw is getting on the scenic railway. So I was really overjoyed when I heard that it was going to be back open for this year. So yeah, we're going to head into the park, have a bit of a walk round. Unfortunately, quite a lot of rides that were here in 2018 have gone. The Air Race, the Dreamcatcher, Pinball X, that's now in Hastings. And uh, yeah, so many rides, the Pendulum that's now uh, operating in Great Yarmouth. And yeah, here's the entrance to the park. So it's going to look very different to last time I was here, but I'm looking forward to seeing it and of course getting on the scenic railway. So yeah, you've got the huge buildings down here at the entrance. You walk straight through that way into the main part of the park. You've got the arcade and the roller disco over here as well. I believe the roller disco was shut last year. And yeah, that's now back in action for 2022. So have a little look at that, shall we? It's really cool in here. You've got some old Blackpool illuminations up there. And yeah, look at the building. I mean, in an ideal world, it would be fully restored in here. But you can clearly see that money has been really tight for this park. And with the pandemic, it's been really tough times for them. So I am pleased that they're open in some form. Look at this with the Walter cars just there. How cool is that? Great photo opportunity. The good thing is it's pretty busy in here. That's the good thing about now with it being a free to enter site again. I think it's better for them. You can pay for the individual things. And yeah, that's much better in my opinion. Yeah, I do like all the lights in here. I mean, how beautiful could this be if it was restored? Yeah, the classic roller disco. Look at this. <laughs> and the signage over at the back, the mirror ball there, all the seating at the sides, really cool. So as soon as you come out from the building where the roller disco is, you're greeted with the awesome view there of the scenic railway. And yeah, also the entrance structure here as well. I do love all the neon signage. Enter just on there, pleasure on that side, all the arrows, some more old school Blackpool illuminations on there as well. And the Dreamland sign in the middle, which is really cool. Now I was really not too sure what to expect in terms of how the park was going to look, you know, especially with it being uh, closed for a year and then last year only having limited attractions. It's just nice to see the place open and I'm really excited to see the classic scenic railway coming around the track just here in a moment. So I'm going to wait down here and get some footage of it in action for you and of course take you on 
with an on-ride POV. It's pay per ride, it's five pounds to ride. And yeah, of course, I'm gonna be uh, giving you all the prices in this vlog to keep you up to date. Oh, well, here he comes, the classic scenic railway. The oldest operating roller coaster in the UK. It operated from 1920 through until 2007. It was destroyed by a fire, rebuilt and opened in 2015. And yeah, may have spent another season closed, but it's back. Well, it's spent a couple of years closed, but it's back in operation. This absolute classic coaster. You know what, it's great to see it. Now, of course, you look at it and think, blimey, it doesn't look that old. That's because most of it did get rebuilt because of the fire that pretty much destroyed most of the ride, unfortunately. But it's so good to see this back in action, it really is. As much as the rest of this park, maybe a shadow of its former self from only a few years ago, I'm so glad that we can see this absolute classic in action here at the park. You love historical attractions and just to see it running again after so much uncertainty really is great to see i'm so excited to get around there and get on the ride and the fact the sun's shining as well perfect so yeah, as you can see they've got all the game stalls set up just here as well and there's a look at the big wheel that i've been told is set to reopen at some point in the near future that are still working on it at the moment and yeah here's a look at the ride prices it's one pound for a ticket and as you can see rides vary really between one and four tickets depending on what it is you've got the helter skelter down there and yeah all the other different attractions carter's ghost train that's here at the moment as well and yeah you've got ride ticket deals available at the top there as well uh, where you spend 20 pounds get 20 tickets plus two for free and yeah here's a look at some of the attractions in option and got the uh, chair plane just over there which is good to see some of the classics that you'll normally see at carter's steam fair down here it's good to enjoy You've got the sizzler just over there it seems pretty busy there's quite a lot of people about which is good to see and the ghost train over here as well yeah looking forward to getting back on the ferris wheel at some point in the near future i'm sure i'll be back but as soon as i heard uh, the scene it was reopening i had to come down here get some footage of it and yeah just document this piece of history i do love the hollywood style dreamland sign over the top there as well God, i remember nearly four years ago now being here watching the concert brilliant vibes yeah it's lovely around here all the seating area it's in a really good condition actually i wasn't expecting it to look as in good a condition as what it is to be honest yeah, there's the Dreamland Drops. Yeah, that was one of them new rides in 2018. Unfortunately, not open at the moment, and who knows if it will open in the future. Now, I believe from chatting to a few people that they do actually still light it up at night, especially when they've got concerts on. But yeah, it's a shame that the ride itself has just been left to ruin, unfortunately. However, as sad as it sounds, I'd rather lose that than the scenic railway. In my opinion, no ride should be left to rot and ruin, especially a newer ride like that that's only a few years old. But yeah, it's better seeing that closed than it is a classic wooden roller coaster with so much history. And talking about it, let's head round there and go and check it out. On my way then down to the scenic railway, and yeah, you got the waltzers just over there as well. You got the jets off to the right, they look like they're closed. Pretty sure they were last time I was down here, to be honest. And yeah, this is where the pendulum ride was. Absolutely brilliant investment that was. Again, another new ride that they got in. Yeah, that's now down at Great Yarmouth. And then, yeah, prior to that, if you remember, you walked around this way, you got to the scenic round to the left, Pinball X, the spinning coaster that's now in Hastings, that was down the bottom there. Along with that, there was Dreamcatcher in the middle, there was the air race down here as well, and uh, yeah, literally, that is the back of the park here now, so you must not be able to get round to the scenic here. You must have to go round the other way, but yeah, it's sad to see, because obviously a lot of money and investment went into this park. And yeah, look at this now all closed off at the back. Such a shame. So yeah, to get round to the scenic, you need to walk underneath it just here, or I imagine you can go round to the left, kind of where I was, where I got the off-ride footage of it in action. But yeah, like I say, this ride opened in 1920. And yeah, look at that. Some nice old photos of it in action. Still got the onboard brakeman on board to this day. 
And yeah, the scenic railway will be 100 years old in 2020. You can tell the sign hasn't been updated. It's 2022 now, 102 years old. And yeah, this is quite a fascinating one. The oldest surviving roller coaster in the UK, of course we know that one, but yeah, there was once 31 scenic railways built in Britain. Only two remain, the one here and the other at Great Yarmouth, which dates from 1932. Both constructed entirely from timber, and this one is grade two listed. A piece of history, five pounds to ride. And yeah, with this one, you can't pay at the booths over there. I'd imagine that's because they're being run by a separate company. Uh, and yeah, the actual Dreamland themselves are running the scenic just here. Got the GoPro? Let's go and get on. It's absolute classic. So excited for this. Here's a look then at the station for the scenic railway. No queue at all, which is quite sad to see for such an iconic ride. I'll tell you what you've got just opposite. Tina Turner's head, everybody. There you go. It's actually listed as an attraction on the website. Tina Turner's head right here at Dreamland Margate. Now there's the onboard brakeman there in the middle. And yeah, worth pointing out, if you do get the tokens deal, then you can't actually use them tokens on this ride, which does seem a bit bizarre. But like I say, they're being operated separately. So yeah, bear that in mind. This is literally just pay over here at the booth. Five pounds to ride. But yeah, let's go and get on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Our carriage awaits. Look at this. Yeah, I do love the train design of the Scenic Railway with the colour scheme just there. The turquoise, the yellow, there's the onboard brake lady just there in the middle of the train. Fantastic to see. I'm so looking forward to getting on this. Going to wait for the front row first time, but of course, come a long way down here, four hours away from home. Going to be having a few rides on here and getting some footage for you all in a few different riding positions. Got to make the most of this classic. Oh! go then on the front row of the scenic railway here in dreamland margate i'm not gonna lie there's been points these past couple of years where i've been very concerned i never get to sit in this seat again but here i am so yeah, you've got your lap bar that comes down just here and also an over the shoulder seat belt just here as well a little bit of shake rattle and roll here we go sun shining as well perfect what i love about this just hear it creaking away looks like there's been some more wood replacement in parts down here as well and up we go the first of the cable lift hills just here oh i just love the sound of that and yeah all the nice painting on the front just here on the train we go great view of the layout the double down Woo! just here as well Woo! and we are off Woo! see there's been quite a bit of wood replacement it seems in parts the oldest operational roller coaster in the whole of the country and it's back We've got seagull just there as well <laughs> Not guaranteed every time you come on that one, not part of the prize. Here we go. Woo! Oh, awesome. We're in at a good speed, of course, you've got the onboard brakeman. I'll take you on a little bit further back on the train so we can see the brakeman or brake lady, whoever is operating at the time. more wood replacement just down here so i thought i'll come on the front first as much as it generally rides better on the back you get to see more on the front down here as well which is always cool what they've done with the old dodgem cars just there on the top of the containers and what i really like about this as well how it's got all the lights on all the way around as well it looks great at night unfortunately not going to see it at night today but i'd love to see this park thrive again in the future i really would but who knows what the future really is we'll see i'd say get yourselves down here to the park this summer and come and ride this classic because we don't know what the future is as much as the ride's listed who knows so yeah get yourself down here and come and do it here we go double down let's keep on riding here we go Woo! Very smooth. 
number 880. Obviously pretty much completely rebuilt because of that fire damage. But it reopened back in 2015. Woo! Hey, oh, this is a good little hill, double down. Hey! That's always good on the back. In my opinion, five pounds is really good value for this ride. We've been going for three minutes and 48 seconds. It's a long ride. structure just here. What I love about these old woodies, you know, you just hear the clunk of the structure, all the creaks that they make, that's what adds to it, isn't it? And there we go, fantastic ride here in Margate in the lovely sunshine as well, blue skies, what more could you want? Yeah, four minutes and 20 seconds, station to station. A little bit longer than that by the time we stopped, fantastic. Alright guys, please remain seated as we're trying What a great piece of history. for another ride on the scenic railway yeah, i thought we've got to make the most of it come a long way down here another five pounds but you know what it's more than worth it you get a good long ride at the end of the day three thousand feet of track on this thing 40 foot tall and top speeds of around 35 miles an hour of course depending on the onboard brakeman different ride every time with that and also as well depends on the weather conditions of course with something like this but yeah towards the back now a few rows for the back a bit of a different perspective on it all just here another look there at the dreamland drop who knows if it'll operate again in the future but you can see the gondola just down the bottom there is in place to put that temporary food outlet there just in front of it so this is the back of the stage and the ferris wheel will be reopening at some point this summer i've been assured so we'll see what happens there's that hollywood style dreamland sign and here we go It feels so much faster further back. You see the onboard Brayman there in the middle, he's got his arms up, here we go! They've got all the little lights flashing away on here. They're moving on in the daytime, which is cool. Yeah, that's the space where the other rides used to be. Pinball X, Dreamcatcher, the Air Race. And if you remember, me and Charlotte came back and we did um, that trip for Screamland, the Halloween event that was pretty epic. Such a shame, but at least this is operating again after a couple of years. Not operating since the end of 2019, so it's good to see it back open here. I really thought that was the end for this ride. Who knows what the long-term future is, like I say, so honestly, I really recommend coming down here. There's been a lot of rumours over the years about the site possibly being turned into housing again, and yes, the coaster would stay, but probably just be sat here, not operating, which would be really sad. projector well the fact they've gone to the effort of replacing some of the woods great 
to get it back open is a good sign. So fingers crossed it'll operate for many more years and future generations to enjoy. But you never know. I said the same when I rode the lights of Camelot. Of course, one of the rides there. You never know. So you've got to make the most of these things. Whilst they last. As much as Nightmare down at Camelot wasn't an old historic ride like this, it was still really sad to lose it, so you never know. Brilliant ride there, towards the back of the train, much faster if you want a quicker ride there. But if you are coming here, have a couple of goes, get yourself on the front as well. Definitely recommend it, it's only five quid, it's a four minute ride. Well, I never thought that I'd have a ride on such an iconic roller coaster and then afterwards do a little bit of talking all about it inside the one and only Tina Turner's mouth, everybody! One of the highlight attractions down here. It's not just about the scenic. Come and see this. I mean, look at it. I'll stand a little bit further forward so you can appreciate it. Tina Turner's head down here in Margate. What more could he want? Um, on a serious note, why the hell is this here? I don't have a clue. Um, but yeah, the ride was absolutely brilliant. So what are you doing, Tina? Guys, trying to, trying to eat me up just there. Tina, watch out. Uh, the ride was fantastic. Front row, absolutely brilliant. Of course, feels much slower, but on the back row, you get the nice little pops of air time. Don't get me wrong, it's only got a top speed of about 35 miles an hour, depending, of course, on the brakeman and the weather conditions, but it's a brilliant ride. It's historic, it's 102 years old, and it's great that it's back open here in Margate. How long, who knows, but really get yourselves down here and come and check it out. And you know, the park really does need the support to keep going. And uh, yeah, I'll certainly be having another ride on there whilst I'm down here. You gotta make the most of it. It's a great coaster. It does only run the one train. It has got another one, but it only runs one train. And that's been the case since 2015. Of course, when the ride was rebuilt and restored after the fire. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. It rides lovely, it's very smooth, and uh, it definitely varies depending on where you're sat, doesn't it, Tina? What do you think? Uh, anyway, we're going to go around the park now, get on a couple more rides, because like I say, carts have got some attractions here, and we'll also check out uh, what else the park's got to offer, and the ride prices as well. Now, there was also a couple of other rides in this location, right opposite the station for the Scenic Railway. There was a couple of flats here. They had the balloons ride just over here, and yeah, they've kind of made this covered over seating area that's not open there however yeah they can kind of get away with that with the seating just there at the side of course tina turner's head just over there as well they're the famous flats over there in the distance that were complaining about the noise of pinball x the spinning coaster not going to complain anymore it operates in hastings Oh, some more off-ride footage there of the Scenic Railway in action. And yeah, running really well. It seems a little bit faster than 2018. Or maybe it's just the fact I've not been on it for a few years, but it was good to get on there. And uh, yeah, in terms of other coasters, uh, obviously there's no other coasters actually operating down here at the moment. They've got this that's SBNO, which is the little beehive coaster, a um, little caterpillar, nothing spectacular. But yeah, that isn't operating yet. I'm not too sure if there's plans to get that going again. Good thing is on the park's website, it does state um, that not all the rides are available. And it's got like a little open um, kind of sign on the pages for each ride. So yeah, it's worth checking out that before you come down here. Here you got this little carousel for the kids down here that's open. All the little rockets in the top just there as well, which is quite cool. And the House of Scalter down here that doesn't seem to be in action. All barriered off down here. Here we go then, you've got the classic whirl around just here. Yeah, normally featured at Carter's Steam Fair. We're down here again now in Margate. Yeah, they had a few of Carter's rides here last year. Didn't come down, but I'm so glad I have today just to get back to this park. Have a couple of laps around on the scenic, and yeah, as long as it stays open, we'll be having another ride on there as well. I'm making the most of it. Yeah, park's open from 10 a.m. through until 6 p.m. Not like you need that long here. A couple of hours maximum, really, to see it all at the moment. But you know what? It's just great to see it open again. So yeah, let's get on a couple of rides. Here we go then. I've not been on this for a few years. Normally features at Carter's Steam Fair. And yeah, it's down here at Dreamland. It's the ghost train. Yeah, look at this. They're like little uh, runaway mine train cars, aren't they? What a classic. Yeah, let's go and get on this. It's only a short ride from what I remember, but it's pretty good fun.
<laughs> well, it was quite short, but it was sweet. There were some good effects in there, and the animatronics. Not quite as good as Vina Preta in Austria, and the ghost trains I did there. But you know what? The loud klaxons on there were pretty good, and yeah, and added to the fear factor of that attraction. Up next, then, going on the wall around. A little bit wet now after that. Here's a look then at the classic whirl around in action. And yeah, I do like all the lighting on here as well. Good classic hey, scrambler. Somebody say yeah. yeah, I'm not even on the ride yet and I want to go faster. Here we go. You're sticking off with my quotes. Here we go then, got a nice bit of Ring My Bell playing down here in Margate this afternoon. Are you ready for it? Let's go. It seems weird, doesn't it? Seeing the big wheel and all the gondolas on just there. <laughs> That's it, ring my bell. Woo! But yeah, I look forward to coming back in the future and hopefully get on the, on the wheel. You gotta think, if I'm coming down here to get on the uh, Euro Tunnel at some point from Folkestone, it might be worth coming and nipping into the park. So yeah, I may do that later in the year, possibly. I'll have to see if I get a chance to. Obviously, it depends on Euro Tunnel times and that sort of thing. But yeah, it'd be worth kind of nipping in. That's a good thing for anybody watching this who doesn't live in the south of England. Hey, if you want to go faster, somebody say yeah! Yeah! Hey, here we go. <laughs> Brilliant. But yeah, so I'd probably recommend doing that. Like, yeah, put your uh, put your Euro Tunnel and you come down here. And yeah, you come in there, experience the park, get yourself on the scenic railway. We do hold a lot of events here, and that's still the case at the moment as well. Going to be concerts throughout the year on the stage. Let's swirl around! Woo! That's what we like. Oh, yes. But yeah, you got the old chair planes just there. That's not Carter's one, that one. So obviously that's still travelling around with the fair for this year. Hey, if you want to go faster, somebody say yeah! Yeah! The operator's loving it. Off is literally living the dream up there. There he is. Hey! Woo! I've got some friends of mine just behind me over here as well. There they are. Hey! <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> Slide to the end and squeeze your friend. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, yeah. That's all we want. I'm glad the sun came out from the uh, scenic as well. It's gone in again now. The operators loving it. Fantastic. Three tokens to ride. Same with the ghost train, that was three tokens, so three quid. Same with the chair of plane down there. Woo! Fantastic fun. Woo! Good cycle as well. See when it come off. No, are you buying them? Oh, nice fun ride there. That was good cycle as well, about three minutes. Yeah, unfortunately the jets aren't in action here. However, they're going to be opening soon, I believe. So yeah, if you are coming down, fingers crossed they'll be open for you to get on. Three tickets to rides. We are going to head now onto the waltzers just over here. We'll give these a go and see if we get a good spin. Fingers crossed. Doesn't look like there's anybody spinning them though. Yeah, I think it's just there in the middle. Fingers crossed. Get a bit of a spin round. We'll hope so. That one's going well. There's nobody in that one. We should be all right. Hey, they're enjoying it. Three tokens to ride. Here we go then on the wall for now. And yeah, hopefully gonna get a bit of a spin. There is three of us in here. Got my friends Jack and Misha with me just there. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, here we go. Hey. Hopefully we get a bit of a spin. Let's go. About to lean in a bit. Here we go. Hey. Hey, lean in. Whoa, that's it. You're not gonna be sick, are you? You're all right. But yeah, they're not coming out spinning them, but oh, we don't need it. I'll tell you what, it's spinning better than roller disco at Alton Towers, I know that. That's it, that's pretty good. Hopefully get a bit more of that good stuff, that's what we want. Hey. <laughs> yeah, good to come down here and get back to the park, get on some rides. Woo. Are we getting some more? We're slowing down a bit. Oh, here we go. Hey, that's it. Woo I do love a good wall, sir. Oh, 
classic. It's always got to be the modern rides. It's these older attractions, classics, aren't they? Really good to get on. Well, considering they're not allowed to come and spin those, that was pretty decent, to be honest, that was. Had a good little spin on there with the three of us in. And yeah, off for a ride now on the Dodgem just here. Love all the flags on the Dodgem cars there as well. In celebration of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee taking place at the weekend. Let's go and have a ride on here. Four tokens, yeah, four pounds a ride here on the Dodgem. That's actually per car as well. Build me up. And here we go then on the Dodgems, right? Gotta get round here, give him a bit of a bash. Where is he? Here we go. Whoa. I apologise if I was driving bad. Here we go. Oh, you're right there, how are you doing? Oh. There you are with a wanderer. Whoa. Wandering around theme parks. Here we go. Let's go through number 16. He's going backwards, look at him go. Whoa. Look at him in action. That's how you do it. One way round. Pay in the car, pay in the car. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh it's getting a bit vicious on here, viewers. Getting a bit vicious this afternoon in Margate. There we go. Oh! <laughs> I thought he was going to flip that. Oh! oh. You're going mad on here. Oh. Right, I'm having it for that. Oh, no! He's got right, we're having him. We're having number 16. We're getting it, here we go. Right, we got him. Oh, <laughs> oh what is going on? He's getting aggressive, this is now. Oh, he's getting aggressive. What is happening? Oh, no. We're off him again, here we go. Oh, I thought that was coming off. This is one of the best judges of rise of the season, this. Oh no, he's coming in. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh, brilliant! Great driving this into area 16. Oh, no head on board. <laughs> no room. Oh, oh god, what a laugh. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> what is that? This one of the funniest Dodgers rides I've had in a while, then. I love how each of the staff go, like, in breaking their own rules. Why not? Have a good time. I'll say it. Hey. <laughs> right, here we go. Train. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry about my driving, Jack. Sorry, mate. Oh, God. There we go. Oh. 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 Best four quid I've ever spent, man. Oh. I'm right, Fudgies there from one of the funniest Dodgem rides of the year. That was awesome. I'd say the best Dodgem's ride of the year. Absolutely brilliant. I love how the operators just jumped on. Hey. We're having a good time there on the Dodgems as well. But there you go, you can see it in action. I'm gonna jump on the classic scenic railway again, get some more footage, and uh, yeah, we'll get a little few more shots of the park before wrapping up today's vlog here from Dreamland Margate. Great to be back here at this park after a few years, and let's hope there's a future. I really do hope so. Oh, so just another awesome ride on the scenic railway. Had four rides in total on that classic this afternoon, which I am really pleased about. And yeah, as you can see, they've actually took the Dreamland sign down here at the front. There's normally a neon sign on there. It's been replaced with Empire. And that's because they've been doing some filming here for a new movie called Empire of Light. So yeah, that's going to be coming soon. And of course, featuring some shots from the park. And yeah, there was like a big facade that was built further down here on the promenade. And uh, yeah, lots of filming going on here at the park. So yeah, that's really interesting. And yeah, I was just chatting with a couple of the man management down here as well. And you know what? It does sound like they've got some exciting plans, which is good to hear. 
And if you are coming down here to Dreamland Margate, then yeah, you can see it's right here on the seafront. There's the building just over there where the entrance to the park is. And yeah, like I say, I'm sure the Dreamland sign will be back on there at some point soon. But yeah, in terms of my day down here today, I've really enjoyed it. I'm leaving the park feeling a lot more positive than I thought I would be. And that's because it's been a fantastic afternoon. Great to have four rides on the iconic 1920 Scenic Railway. A brilliant ride, and I would definitely recommend coming down here to the park, getting your ride on there, because it is a fantastic coaster. It's long, it's smooth, and it's really good pricing, in my opinion, at five pounds for a ride on there. There's no wristband options or anything like that down here at the moment. It is all paper ride, because you've got to think, um, the Scenic's kind of owned by the park, and then you've got other rides that are operated by different showmen. Uh, but you know what? The park, I'm leaving feeling pretty positive. And yeah, we're chatting with a few of the management and to some of the people around today here, and it sounds like the park will have uh, a little bit of a future, which I'm really pleased about. I mean, I was coming here expecting it to be, uh, you know, really sad and probably maybe it's last year of operation and maybe seeing the scenic SBNO in future years. But to be honest, from chatting to them, it seems like uh, they've got some good people here and behind the scenes there's going to be you know kind of seeing how this season goes and kind of moving forward from there in terms of maybe bringing some of the rides in and getting other bits open the good news is like the other little coaster that you saw the little caterpillar that they've got and some of the other rides are literally going to be opening in the next few weeks so if you are coming over the summer uh, expect those to be open as well of course subject to availability but yeah, the park's really nice obviously it's not quite what it was back in 2018 uh, with all their new rides that they've brought in but you know what um, I'm really pleased to see it kind of surviving how it is it's, it's not what it was but you've got to come here not kind of remembering the older times and think of it as you know you've got some traveling rides in a lovely setting it's a nice landscape park it's now free to enter and you can just pay to do a couple of rides in there if you want to but uh, there we go great to get back here to Margate long way away from home um, but always worth it to get back on the scenic four rides on there um, done and dusted and yeah I got some nice POVs for you as as well on to be a nice front row 4k pov on the way in the coming days here on the channel as well thank you very much for watching me here on theme park worldwide lots more vlogs coming up from myself and charlotte over summer so stay tuned for all of that content here on the channel that leaves me with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding see you all in the next vlog